Let's take a look at making sure a table can be made accessible to try and save some time in working through document accessibility. We'll begin with the differentiated levels of support. One way to ease the overwhelming feeling of stress we can get looking at long complex documents for remediation is to break them into chunks. In this tutorial, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to start with a simple table and check its accessibility and then move on to another section of the document. One important reminder here is that designing of Word documents such as this one in sections allows for you to use headings to be used in various parts of the document. And this will allow you to easily create your table of contents by utilizing the headings. This example we're working on right now might have been titled Table A Idaho Differentiated Support System Level Description as an H4 and subsequent tables tagged as H4, wherein all tables would show up in the table of contents under tables. You may have already thought this through, but if not, a nice intro tutorial on how to do this can be found by clicking here. Okay, let's break this document into a workable chunk so we don't feel overwhelmed to begin with. Our example today is Table A, Differentiated Support System. Let's just work with pages 13 to 15. With our document open, let's click on View, Navigation Pane, and notice here you can work with headings, but for now, let's work with pages. I'll jump down to page 13, and I'm going to select content from page 13 to 15. Copy and paste that content onto a new blank document, and let's save that as a working doc for today as Table 1E. We need to save this table as a PDF to test a screen reader version. So we can simply save as Adobe PDF by clicking File, Save as Adobe PDF. I'm going to take an even quicker shortcut and save this document as a PDF using a plugin for Microsoft Word called Common Look that will run this document through a quick accessibility check and will point out an interesting time-saving feature. Notice the first thing Common Look wants us to attend to are the document styles or headings as I mentioned earlier. This is proof that it pays to organize documents by heading levels as this makes it so much easier for screen readers to work through. But for now, we'll skip this step since we can fix those things later. Next, we are asked to be aware of any color or contrast issues our document might have. We're okay, so let's go on. The next section is called readability and we are going to discover that we have an issue here, but for now, we'll continue. All right. Here's one of the features using Common Look that is worth the price of admission. The table analyzer is asking us what to do with these tables. Are they presentation tables or do they have column headers or column and row headers, etc. Since we are simply presenting information as presentation tables here, we just saved ourselves a lot of time because we can click presentation tables and linearize tables horizontally and our tables are now accessible. In the next step, we would check our lists for accuracy, and by the way, there are a couple of minor errors, but that's not the focus today, so we'll assume all is good and we'll go ahead and generate the PDF. Okay, let's open the PDF and we'll use the Adobe built-in screen reader to test our work. This will take a minute, so be patient. Table A Idaho Differentiated Support System, Level Descriptions. Level 1. Supporting and Guiding Description Leads in the Supporting and Guiding level have been identified through the RDA Determination Percentage to be those leads scoring greater than 80% on their RDA Determination Percentage. This should equate to approximately 70% of leads in the state. Note, if in Lee had three compliant SPED files from the GSFR in 2016 to 2017 in 2017 to 2018 the SDE will randomly select three files. If all three are compliant the Lee will be exempt from GSFR file review in the 2018 to 2019 school year. Activities Meets requirements 1. Lee assembles a steering committee who Attends the SDE Spring Data Retreat conducts a root cause analysis, and develops an action plan to address local areas of concern in results and or compliance matrix. 
If an Lee does not attend a data retreat the SDE will require a signed letter of assurance that the Lee has reviewed the data presented and understands it. 2. Completes an annual internal file review of compliance practices, see Lee internal file review. 3. Lee will provide a signed assurance to the SDE as documentation that all new special education staff has either participated in Idaho SESTA Essentials training or has viewed the training modules located at, insert link. Sep 10. December 6th. December 15th. Supports available. Okay, this is great and oh so close. But our dates don't line up and this is important, so let's fix that quickly. I can open the PDF in Common Look again and quickly find the errors. So I'll open the PDF in Common Look, check it for Section 508 Accessibility Errors, and see if anything fails. Woohoo! The document passed. So how can we be sure that the dates are spoken correctly as the screen reader reads them? We'll open the tags menu, find the list item that needs a date, we'll find the corresponding date, and we'll drag it under the list item. And now all we have to do is repeat this for list items 2 and 3, and you save and check your work. P.S. All the steps you saw me completing in Common Look can be done in Adobe Acrobat. Common Look just makes short order of accessible table design. So let's go see if our fixes worked. So now we'll open up the corrected PDF and listen for proper reading order. Activities Meets requirements One Lee assembles a steering committee who attends the SDE Spring Data Retreat conducts a root cause analysis, and develops an action plan to address local areas of concern in results and or compliance matrix. If an Lee does not attend the data retreat the SDE will require a signed letter of assurance that the Lee has reviewed the data presented and understands it. Sep 10. 2. Completes an annual internal file review of compliance practices, see Lee internal file review. December 6. 3. Lee will provide a signed assurance to the SDE as documentation that all new special education staff has either participated in Idaho SESTA Essentials training or has viewed the training modules located at, insert link. December 15. Supports available. State and or Idaho SESTA supports will be available to review data on results and or compliance with the Lee Steering Committee and assist with the drill down, if necessary. As you can see, very few document structural changes were needed to make sure the tables were accessible to screen readers. So this allows us to continue using and designing these types of presentation tables with more confidence that our design is accessible.